Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica. For today's video, we have a long overdue empties video. But before we get into it, make sure you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're aware of all future videos. All right, guys, so we are definitely long overdue. This box is so heavy, but I do have perfumes in here that I finished, which are gonna be for another video. First thing I finished is my super jumbo um, cotton balls. So, Honestly, the, so these ones are the ones from Walmart, and they're not bad, but the ones from, I think it was Dollar Tree, are kind of the same, and I feel like the Dollar Store is also the same, Dollarama. So we have Dollarama, then there's Dollar Tree, and then Walmart. And honestly, I feel like this super jumbo ball is not what I wanted it to be, because I could have sworn I bought cotton balls that were actually jumbo cotton balls, and they were huge. And these to me are medium size. There's nothing jumbo about this. So if anyone in Canada has a better alternative than Walmart or Dollar Tree or Dollarama, please let me know because I like jumbo. And I'm really upset about um, Sensi getting rid of their cotton, what, what cotton cleanups. What are we gonna do with those tiny little things? The only thing they're good for are mini warmers and that's kind of trash. Like. I had no issues with, you know, bending the um, the the cotton cleanup onto the side, like putting it on like sideways to suck out the wax, and I had no problems with that. It's really not that hard. So the little ones are honestly shit, and I'm definitely not gonna buy those. A few of the wax melts that I used, um, I was gifted from Krista. So one of them is from the Pioneer Woman, and this was in French toast. And let me tell you, whatever brand. Oh God, I'm not, you know, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna fight with this thing. It is so hard to open up this tin. They're probably afraid that people are gonna steal their wax melts because it's so good. And honestly, this was so strong, so strong. It took over my place. It really did. And it was so good. This scent was really nice. So it was French toast. So notes of brown sugar, cinnamon, bread, vanilla, spice, and apple. Definitely recommend this if you guys ever find the French toast scent for this brand. Really, really good. Really, really liked it. Um, and then a few more that she gifted me. So we have here, the rest are better homes and gardens that she gifted me. So the first one is orange and cinnamon swirl. This one I really liked. It was a nice spicy scent with a little bit of that orange. It wasn't my favorite um, on warm. I liked it a little bit more on cold. But it was still a really nice scent. I really liked it. I'm honestly, I really want to make a trip to um to the States Walmart just to buy some of the Better Homes and Gardens wax. They were honestly, they surprised me. So the next one I have is orange buttercream and cupcake. And this is more of your, you know, your typical citrus sweet scent. I love this. Citrus bakery. You got the orange note, you got the buttercream. Oh, this one was so good. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the notes are on it. I should have read them Okay, so this one has orange zest vanilla and buttercream notes. So stinking good. I Love this one. I would definitely repurchase it again It is more of like that basic scent that you would go for but it's so freaking good Then we have here vanilla and cookie crunch and I love the designs on these uh, clamshells so this one has notes of shortbread cookie buttercream and vanilla so I love this one on cold, but unfortunately it didn't really perform for me on warm. It was very, very light. I feel like maybe I should have let it sit for a while, let it cure for a bit. Because I know that vanilla scents do tend to do that. They don't perform as strong, but I really liked it. And um, I would love to buy it again just to kind of give it like another shot. Let me see. Do I have any other ones in here? I'm pretty sure I have a few more that are from... Oh, okay. Honestly, I'm just kind of trying to pick out, I think these are all of them. I think there was three. Yeah, there's three. Okay. So the next one is, oh my God, this one. So we have blueberry tart. Again, love the graphics. So this has raspberry, butter, blueberry, butter, pastry, and vanilla scent notes. If I had to choose a favorite, I would probably choose this one. There was something about the blueberry in here and that butteriness 
that was so good it performed really really well i loved it both on cold and warm i would definitely repurchase this one again then we have here frosted lemon bars this has lemon sugar cookies frosting vanilla and buttercream notes This was this would probably be my second favorite. I'm obsessed with any kind of like lemon bakery scent, anything with heavy buttercream with cookies. And this was so freaking good, so good. I'm starting to notice with my place, it's easier for me to warm wax melts either in my bathroom, my bedroom, my open space or open space my uh my living room area which is an open concept with the dining room and then in this room which is my studio room but my kitchen i really really struggle it doesn't matter what i've tried sensi i've tried this i've tried my stuff and i just i cannot smell anything in my kitchen and i don't know what it is but i just i've kind of stopped putting set in there so what happened was i initially put this one in there because i'm like oh it's a lemon scent it'll be nice couldn't smell it and then as soon as i put it in my my living room which is a larger area i could smell it so it makes no sense so yeah my kitchen i don't know something's wrong with my kitchen she's kind of pissing me off but then we have your caramel 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 i know some people say caramel uh caramel and bread pudding this one has caramel bread butter nutmeg cinnamon dark vanilla and brown sugar notes and this one i didn't really love it was okay I mean, if I had this, I would warm it again and I wouldn't have an issue with it, but I didn't get too much out of it. It was more on the light side. It wasn't a favorite, um, but I'd still warm it again, but I just wouldn't repurchase it. Um, but my favorites so far from, from this company is Frosted Lemon Bars and Blueberry Tart. Then we're going to get into some Rocky Top Wax Works. So I did make an order from her company. And let me say, I had so much fun warming these scents. So the first one that I tried is Carrot Cake with Cream Cheese Icing. Now, for some reason, I thought I was going to be obsessed with Carrot Cheesecake. And I wasn't as in love with it as I thought I would be. So I did like the performance. Honestly, all her wax melts performed great. I had no issues with the throw. Um, carrot cake, I probably wouldn't repurchase it just because, I don't know, I just had it in my head that I thought I would love carrot cake. And I just didn't love it as much. Would I warm it again? Yes. Would I repurchase it again? Probably, yeah. For like fall time, not for this time. I did warm it like what, about a month ago? And it was still it was still cold. It wasn't bad, but I feel like I would be more in the mood for carrot cake if it was like fall. I just wanted to really get it because you know Easter coming up and all that jazz. And I thought carrot cake would just go, but I just wasn't as in love with carrot cake as I thought. But it was a good performer, and I do highly recommend carrot cake. Then we have pancakes with maple syrup. So this one I was actually gifted, and this one did perform very well. I just didn't really love the maple note in this one. It just wasn't for me, but it was still a nice scent, and um, yeah. Next up, we have Renaissance, and this has Sweet Grace, Nag Champa, and Egyptian Musk. So this one is one of those scents that's a very acquired scent. Um, it's definitely not for everyone. I personally like the scent, but for some reason, I don't know what's going on with my place sometimes. It didn't really perform how I wanted it to. And I feel like I had to put this in like my bathroom to get more scent. Um, sometimes my place does get a little bit cold and I feel like when it gets like that, I can lose some scent. I don't know. It's, it's up and down with scent for me sometimes, especially in this place. I know with everyone's homes, it's like that. We never know where it's going to perform. But I do wish I got more scent out of this. I love this on cold. Like I actually really, really did. And it's a very like soothing, relaxing scent. I would highly recommend this. If you guys are into um, guided meditation or aroma th doing aromatherapy at home, I would definitely recommend this one. I just wish it was even stronger because smelling it out of this, it was so strong. And I don't know, I think I just wanted a little bit more from it. Um, then we had, which one's this one? Chocolate Chip Cookie Coma. This one was delicious. It is a very true 
authentic cho chocolate chip cookie scent and this one was strong i actually put this one in my bedroom and i enjoyed it in my bedroom but this thing went on forever i actually had to change it out because i wanted to like try something else i had this in for a good three days and my warmer is on 24 7. that's how that's how long lasting it was it could have probably gone on for a whole week but i wanted to change my scent then I have here a sample. This was strawberry milkshake. I, this isn't something I would have normally like purchased, but let me try and open this thing. It smelled so damn good. It smelled better than Scentsy's, was it called strawberry swirl? It's like a strawberry ice cream, I think, or milkshake. Yeah, it's a milkshake, just like this. I would love to buy a large size of this. This one is so, so stinking good, and it performed, um, obviously it's a smaller size sample, so I did my bathroom, and it performed well. Then, where else? Where's my other sample? Oh, it's definitely lost. In oh, here. My other sample I got from her was Boho Tea. This one has Georgia Peach, Green Tea, Pink Lavender, Clouds, and Bedtime Bath, and oh my god. I need me a full, girl, I need a full size of this one. Oh, it's so good. It's truly amazing. Delicious. The peach, the green tea. Oh, this one like had me on cloud nine. So good. I literally, when I got the sample, I could not stop smelling it. I didn't even want to warm it because it was so pretty. You guys know me. I love my peach. So this one I was obsessed with. I also grabbed this one called Be Kind and it was honey butter cookies. And this one... It reminds me of the honey body oil from the body shop and I still have that it's actually in my bathroom in Portugal I refuse to get rid of it even though it's so old I'm I, sh I should probably get rid of it but now that they've shut down I don't want to get rid of it it smells so so beautiful this scent to me is just very nostalgic i really love this one don't know that i loved it for like a wax melt but if i could have i would have just saved it in here and i would have just smelled it i would have loved this in some kind of like body cream because it reminds me of the body oil i got from um from the body shop but this one performed very well um i would i would definitely recommend this one if you guys are into a honey sugar cookie type of scent Okay, I know I think I have a few more from her. Let me just make sure. Yes, we have one here. I think that was it. Yes, okay, I think that's it. We're almost we're almost there, guys. It's actually not that bad. I just think that this box is bad because I have so many empty perfumes. Lord, anyways. So the next one is I dropped the dirt cake. This one has birthday cake, fruity pebbles, gummy bears, and a little bit of dirt. So this one... I liked it but I wanted a little bit more dirt that sounds so weird but I like dirt I like the scent of dirt it's weird but I like it especially for like the nice spring weather summer weather you know the flowers are blooming all that good stuff and I kind of wanted a little bit more dirt in this one but I would still repurchase this so good it was sweet it had a little bit of that dirt but I just wanted more really love this one i will definitely be repurchasing this one for sure and we have bayberry sandalwood now for some reason i don't know i just didn't love this scent it was a great performer very 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 strong but it just it's just not a scent that i would repurchase not a favorite but i would recommend this if you are into bayberry sandalwood because this one performed absolutely amazing so i think that's all from rocky top waxworks and honestly i highly recommend her wax melts they're so beautiful they perform great and i cannot wait to make another order with her so what do we have here oh we have one random one from sensationals i got no not sensational sorry mainstays and this one is called cozy comfort and i got this one because of my aunt she's obsessed with this and it's a beautiful scent but i got no throw like it's such a gorgeous scent and I, I can't even smell it in the clamshell anymore. Maybe because I waited too long, but just such a dud with this one. Such a good freaking scent. So beautiful, so warm. And 
it just didn't perform so I was really upset about that and another thing I just wanted to mention is you probably won't really see me you know putting a bunch of melting memories into this box because you guys obviously know I sell melting memories so for me it's kind of like I always talk about melting memories so this is kind of like my time to be able to show you guys the kind of sense that I'm into from other vendors from other companies so I'd rather kind of do that because I kind of feel like it's gonna be redundant you guys already know I'm gonna love my stuff so it's almost like what's the word um I'm forgetting what the word is that I'm looking for it's almost like I'm being biased you know what I mean because it's my product so I just I'm not gonna really be throwing products in that are my stuff but I did throw in this one because I love it and that's what I mean I would probably throw every single thing in that I use and tell you guys how much I'm obsessed with it because I am but pumpkin pecan waffles is one of my favorite fall scents but what I'm gonna do oh it's so good and I'm obsessed with it because it's a Bath and Body Works dupe and that's the one candle I would always per repurchase every single year. It's so good, but I'm really excited for the fall season because I'm going to be doing some blends with pumpkin pecan waffles, so I'm more excited for that. So first up we have here from Kringle. This one is called, oh lord, uh, Christmas Stroll with notes of balsam fir, pine, green moss, sweet spice, winter air. This is a very heavy tree note to me. This smells like I'm walking outside walking through a forest and there's nothing but pine trees there's balsam fir there's that fresh winter air like when you smell it you get that fresh like you it's like a very cold day and like you get like that you get hit in the face with that cold breeze and I feel like that's what I get when I smell this like it hits me in the face so when it comes to performance for this it was out it was so so strong it burnt so beautifully it was clean I loved the way these candles burnt okay amazing vessel gorgeous I need to reuse them somehow because these are these are stunning they're stunning love these candles uh, the vessels and the candles um, but yeah this one would definitely be a repurchase now I'm currently warm warming I'm currently burning um christmas cookie dough so that one's warming in my living room but i'll mention that in another video the second one i have is this one here and this is cozy cabin with notes of firewood cedar wood brown sugar cinnamon bark vanilla and warm maple so when it comes to this one i loved the smell of it the problem was i got zero throw i don't know why i don't know if it's my place again but i couldn't smell it everyone else can smell it and i don't know if i'm doing something wrong is there like a rule guide to burning candles to get the most scent throw possible because I don't know maybe I burnt it too long and then does that mean if you burn it for way too long because I think it's supposed to be like three hours you burn a can yeah at least about three hours you would burn the candle maybe four I think four might be pushing it but I don't know like if you burn a candle for too long does that mess up the entire candle and then you can't smell it anymore because I know sometimes like you'll get like a smoky smell but I got no smokiness from this I just got no throw and I'm really upset about it because I love this scent it was such it's still to me I can still smell it it smells beautiful but I just got no scent throw from this one so this at this point wouldn't be a repurchase I got the largest candle too I should have just I think from now on I'm just gonna get the smaller candles just in case that happens again I don't want to you know spending that kind of money on a candle and for it not to perform and then you can't really do anything about it maybe just contact the company and just like let them know that it didn't work for you um, and then also I had where was it oh I think I have this one and I think I have one more oh no I gave it to my girlfriend okay so I actually ended up having three of these daylight candles. Um, so I have, oh my God, I don't remember the other ones. Well, I can't even talk on one of them just because I gave it to her. 
something Christmas tree. I can't remember. Anyways, we're just going to speak on this. I ended up giving her two of them and then I kept this one. So butter croissants. I didn't like the smell of this on cold, but on warm, I actually liked it. It wasn't bad. And I could smell this one. So for, for the fact that I had a large candle, a large ass candle, and I couldn't smell it, but I could smell it in this daylight candle. I was impressed with this one. I definitely liked it, but I don't think I would buy this specific scent in a candle. So I'm definitely glad I tried it out in a daylight. So I do think this is a really great option. Okay. What else do I have in my magic box here? You guys are probably like, what are you looking at? Y'all, this is what I'm looking at, okay? It's, it's a hot mess. It's literally, it's all, it's literally perfumes that are weighing it down. So first up from Scentsy that is non-wax is this Scentsy Fresh in lavender cotton i really really like this scent i don't like lavender lavender cotton in the wax melt but i like it in um the cleaning products oh, so beautiful it just leaves my home feeling like i just did an aromatherapy session basically um love this i spray this on my curtains on my linens on my carpet on my couch on everything my place just smells amazing it feels fresh um, I need to see what other scents they have because I think I have only one left of this, but it's a fall scent. I think it's apple and cinnamon and I'm not spraying apple and cinnamon right now. I'm over that shit, over the apple and cinnamon. We need to move on. I need something nice and fresh and light. Then we have here a body wash in Just Breathe. I could have sworn I had more body washes. Did I just like get rid of them? Probably. Okay. But I could have sworn I might have mentioned it in my other video. But anyways, a body wash in Just Breathe. This smells amazing. I love Just Breathe. It's such a beautiful, relaxing scent. Perfect for my meditation. I love it. Honestly, I've gotten so into meditation and just it just makes me feel good. It makes me kind of just get ready for my day and I don't know you're just at one with yourself that's really what it is so when you have scents like these it just relaxes you and puts you in like a different like mind state I love it but uh yeah so I love just breathe I will not be repurchasing any more body washes from Scentsy just because they're very expensive for the amount of product you get and I know you don't need a lot, so technically you can get away with a little, you know, dab of it and you're good. But a girl like me goes crazy when it comes to body wash. I like to do like a full two pumps of something. Right now I have a product in my bathroom. It's a Korean uh, skincare product or Korean body wash, well still skincare, but a Korean body wash. And I've really gotten into Korean skincare, all, all things Korean and Japanese since the pandemic you know just taking care of my skin i'm gonna do another video on that and showing you the products i like to use but honestly my skin right now this isn't bad i have like some scarring on my cheeks and stuff um still working on it but my skin was way worse a few years ago and it's changed drastically because of that so i'm uh, kind of just like moving on from north american skincare products to more korean and japanese and just clean even if it's a north american product i try to be as clean as i possibly can but sometimes i can't always do that but um i just feel like this it's too expensive and i literally just got a liter of body wash for the same price that i paid for this actually like three dollars cheaper than i paid for this so to me you know i just we got to find ways of saving money sometimes and for me i just this wasn't anything special i've mentioned it in my video before um so i'm just going to be passing on this from now on but it was a lovely scent so if you are into the body wash i definitely would recommend just breathe if it's still available one thing i love from scentsy like love love like my favorite if i would have to say my favorite products from scentsy it would be i love the scentsy fresh it's not like a favorite but i love the scentsy fresh counter clean absolutely love it and the waxes of course and then the scent circles i used to be obsessed with these scent car bars but the scent circles kind of have my heart just because there's so many different scents and i need to actually do um 
a new order for a bunch of new scents because I already I just finished all of my scentsy ones so the first one I have is appealing apple I don't know if you guys are gonna agree with me on this but does anyone think that scentsy should replace Johnny Appleseed with appealing apple raise of hands I'm gonna raise my I'm gonna raise both my hands because I'm obsessed with appealing apple it's so beautiful if I had a club this would have been in my club but I don't have a club because you know we're we're just we're just not doing that because it would be very dangerous but appealing apple honestly they just need to bring that back because it's such a beautiful sweet scent I believe there's apple there's pear I think there's some sweet pea it's just a stunning it's a very juicy apple scent it's juicier than Johnny Appleseed something about this one just has my heart and I really do hope that they bring it back what the hell is this one I can't even read it oh it's lemon sorbet this one didn't last as long as I hoped for, but it smells so good. I think maybe it only gave me about like two days or three days. A peeling apple actually lasted a lot longer. I wish this one was a bit stronger, but I love lemon sorbet. It's such a beautiful fresh one. I would still repurchase it. Um, then we have vanilla waves. This one was a very light performer. I actually have another one of these in my car, the vanilla waves one. I don't want to get okay honestly I'm probably not gonna get rid of this after you know I finish this video I'm probably gonna keep this one because I would love to try and recreate this scent but it's so hard really really hard to find some kind of like a sea salt scent that is like this type of sea salt that they use in vanilla waves oh it's so beautiful this one reminds me of a perfume hold on you know what I might as well just show you guys since I'm on camera but this scent reminds me of a perfume that i can no longer get and i actually got it in portugal three three years ago or two years ago and it's from sephora and it's called do not drink let me see if i can show you guys so it's do not drink and it has notes of vanilla and fleur de sel so this one has vanilla it has sea salt and it's literally the exact same scent as vanilla waves and i'm just so upset that i got such a small bottle i wish i just i think this was about like 15 15 euros i think but they didn't have the large large size so i kind of was just like you know what i'll do this i don't even care to get a medium bottle now i wish i got the medium bottle because i um i would have loved to have gotten this duped if i possibly could because this would have been an exact replica of Vanilla Waves. It's like, guys, I haven't, I sprayed it a few times and I haven't used it anymore and I'm not going to use it anymore until I find a person selling this. I'm actually, well, I'm going back to Portugal in the summertime. So maybe I'll just like go online and see if anyone in my town is selling this scent. Oh my God, I'm honestly so upset. It's such a good scent. I really, really want Scentsy to bring it back. It's so freaking pretty. Um, and then my last Scentsy uh, scent circle is Around the Campfire. And I'm very surprised that Scentsy keeps bringing back Around the Campfire because I feel like it's a scent that a lot of people don't like, but I'm obsessed with it. This will last me forever in my car. And it's just the sexiest, sexiest campfire scent. I love this one. It gives me nostalgia. It just gives me camp, um, camping vibes. So I'm definitely excited to go camping. This would have to be a scent. I would have. And there we go. I didn't buy any scent circles in, around the campfire. That's just great. And then going on to the Scentsy Waxes, we have Midnight Masquerade. And this to me was just a very deep, dark, sweet floral. It was very beautiful, very strong. I don't remember the floral note, but I'm pretty sure there was some vanilla in here because I feel like the vanilla kind of like tones everything down because I don't think if there was no vanilla in here, I feel like this would smell extra powdery. This kind of gives me a little bit of powdery vibes, but I really like this one. Midnight Masquerade was a strong performer, very strong, and I had that one in my bedroom. Then we have one of my favorites, which is Welcome Home, and this is basically a very beautiful spiced scent it's so so gorgeous it's definitely got the perfect name which is welcome home it's just very homey and cozy 
very beautiful for, for the fall and winter. I know Scentsy has this all year round. I personally won't be reaching for any more bars of this. Um, I just grabbed it because I'm like, I missed this scent a lot. So um, I warmed it, but I won't be purchasing it anymore until the fall and winter time. Then we have Street Parade. And this is just a very, very sweet, fruity scent. The main notes I get from this are the plum and the pineapple. It's so good, so beautiful. I wish I kind of held on to this one a little bit longer and warmed it like in the warmer months, but I couldn't help myself. Like I just got so excited to just warm all these like scentsy waxes that I got. I was just enjoying myself. But this one was beautiful, very good performer. I'm glad that my girl um, recommended this one to me. And then, let me see, I think we have one more. Is it just one more and we're done? Oh my God, guys, are we done? Does that mean I get to have an emptier box? Yes, but, oh my God, guys, I have to, I'm gonna, I have to show you this at the end. Okay, so um, the last one that I used is Mint To Be Merry. And this to me was just like a buttermint kind of scent with cookies. It was so good. So, so good. Again, if I had a club, this one would absolutely be in it. It was, I don't know, I love it. I'm, I'm into minty scents, but I'm not into like a straight hardcore peppermint scent. Like it has to have some kind of smooth vanilla or marshmallow or whipped cream just something to tone down the peppermint and it just makes it so beautiful kind of reminds me of yeah the buttermint candies but with like lots of like cookies and vanilla and oh it's so good my girlfriend raved about this one too and i'm like girl i need to try it as soon as i smelled this because i think she gave me just like a little cube of it i was hooked i'm like they there's no way that sensei won't bring this back like they definitely will okay so that was my empties video for you guys but just so you guys can see what's to come i have an entire video that i'm doing so there's some skincare in here um and then some perfumes but look at all the perf guys do you see that do you see that i'm trying to make sure nothing falls i have so much perfume that i finished um i'm basically on this mission to finish my perfumes um I swear I gave it like a name, like a hashtag. Goal finish my perfumes. I have no idea what I named it, but I usually like will post it on my Instagram page. But I'm just on a mission to, you know, finish what I have before I repurchase anything else. So I'll probably talk about this in another video, just on ways that we can kind of like save through these hard times together. You know, if there's a way we can save. I think we should do that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media platforms, which I will link down below. And if you're interested in shopping any of my wax melts, check out multimemories.ca, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.